Possibly John Cabot and his crew were killed, the ships sunk, all their ships by the Spanish Armada. We just don't know. Well, it's a mystery. There's, incidentally, there's information, another theory, too. Which, go, yes. There's information that we don't know, but what we, what we do know is that he was a supremely uh, talented navigator, uh, a man of action, a man who actually uh, had the ability to um, uh, navigate, build ships, uh, produce maps, and, and he was highly uh, regarded by, uh, by uh, his contemporaries. Um, there was competition between uh, England and um, Spain, and uh, that might have something to do with his demise, but uh, we don't know that. Well, we do know that it, he was a, a man who did uh, contribute to the um, English claim to, to the Northern uh, Americas. Yes. And that is uh, affecting us to this day. Yes. And um, what I'd like to ask you, Ted, in summary, is um, what did you, what were you surprised about in terms of information you learned from your uh, investigations regarding the life of um, John Cabot uh, that, that either interested you or surprised you or you felt that was, it was something that, that uh, it was uh, some sort of uh, intrigue? Okay. I'd just like to wrap up just one thing here. Uh, there's a, a theory that he may have shipwrecked his ships and gone inland into North America and died there with his son. Or no, no, his sons weren't there. And the other theory is there's some evidence, believe it or not, from Bristol records that he may have returned to Bristol where he died about 1499 when the pension was stopped. He had failed in his voyage and nobody took note of him. So we just don't know. As far as the, the, the why he was killed, this is important. In 1496 or so, the Treaty of Tordesillas was made by Pope Alexander VI to divide it, the New World between Spain and Portugal. Now, the English and French monarchs disputed this, and they sent their especially first English, then French, their own navigators out to find land. It's possible that when Cabot went south, he, he definitely went into Spanish territory, and he may have been killed by Oeda or Ott, or both of them, we don't know, for trespassing into Spanish claim, and also because, supposedly, the Pope gave them that, and they could have killed Cab and his crew because they were somehow excommunicated at the time. Significance of John Cabot, what did I find out? Well, I found out that John, and I knew some things about John Cabot, of course, but he's been like a shadowy figure. He stands out, still he's coming out of the shadows, more because of recent scholarship. He's given credit by Great Britain and in Canada where he's better known with statues and towers and things of that nature than in the rest of the world, including the United States, America, North America, for being the first explorer to set forth on the mainland of North America, which he did for the English crown, and that has been the basis of the English and then subsequent British claim to North America to the present time. Very significant, and that's generally recognized. Now, if you look in history books, especially older ones, you won't find a whole lot about Cabot because unlike the other two, who Vespucci was a good salesman to the point he claimed things he didn't do and he named America after him, should have not done that, while Martin Waldesmuller did, and then later took it back called a terra incognita or a new land unknown. And Columbus, who kept a lot of journals and diaries, and his sons, unlike uh, the Cabot's son or sons, they did a lot to propagate Columbus's memory. That wasn't done with John Cabot. So he's a guy who is significant. He should get more, in my opinion, credit than he's gotten. He's very significant. He was a well-rounded man of his day. He knew a lot about navigation, map making, globe making. He was a good salesman of his own self, as I said. He knew a lot about trade. His family was engaged in trade. He went to Venice and became Venetian citizen with his father. 1496, he went on trade missions for Venice. He went to Mecca disguised as a Muslim. He did a lot of things. He is involved with shipbuilding. He was supposed to do a canal for King Ferdinand of uh, Castile and, uh, and uh, Aragon, which was United Spain, 
around right after Colum around the time of Columbus' first voyage, and it fell through. He knew about canal making. He was a well-rounded man of his time. I found him quite admirable. I admire him. I think he accomplished a lot in his life. He didn't get full credit for it. And it's about time he should get more credit for what he really did. He should be right up there with Columbus, Vespucci, and others. More so than Vespucci, although Vespucci did things too. I would put him like maybe he should be right there with Columbus, really, because Columbus did something important. He did something important. Remember, they were collaborators. They were friends. They were rivals. They were involved in mercantile dealings. Bartolomeo and Christopher Columbus and John Cabot. We have many. Those we have records of. And another thing, Cabot, before he got to England, he was, he was hounded with debt. He had, he had creditors following him all over. Started with the wife's diary. He didn't get enough. I believe he went, he had to leave Venice. He went to Milan. Then he, they hounded him into Portugal and Spain. So he was a man that really didn't have enough financial resources until he was given the support financial by King Henry VII of England. He never, he was a guy who wouldn't give up. Again, that comes to light. He was determined to do something which he was proven right, go on the northern route, came back, and if he hadn't been lost at sea, or unheard of, I think we would be saying, reading, and hearing a lot more about John Cabot. Okay, Ted, thank you. Um, I, I found it, him to be very interesting also, and one thing that I, I was not aware of, but the fishing, the cod fishing, that was, uh, was a big boom to England in terms of food supply. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, they, he had some writings of, uh, that he would uh, give information about how the fish were just were just there, and it was yes. a plentiful source of high quality that protein for the That was off the, the banks English. of Newfoundland. And it really it had something to do with yes. the, uh, giving England and, uh, more power. And um, it was very, uh, like yes. you said, he's, he is an admirable figure. Okay, thank you for your, uh, your insight. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you for uh, viewing. And uh, have a good. Uh, we'll do our next uh, research on another topic. But for today, John Cabot is our topic. And uh, Ted Masano, thank you. Thank you.